Hey, I'm Julian and today I'm building a different picture frame where I can easily slide in my picture. Let's go! I started with this wooden flat main starring a borrowed mitre saw, some wood glue, a chisel and a Japanese saw. First I'm setting the mitre saw on a 45 degrees angle and cut the first piece. Then I'm measuring how much space my picture needs. Mark it and cut it. Then I'm using the first piece as a template so they get both the same. And I also needed the short side of the picture, so I'm again measuring, marking and cutting it. So now I got something that looks like a normal picture frame. And that was the moment when I thought, what about arranging them differently and make something new? That's how I got the idea of the different picture frame. And I thought it could be a cool feature to just slide in my picture and it will stay there. So to make this uh, slide in function I need to take off some very little material and here I'm marking it where I need to remove it. So I only want to put glue on the surface that isn't marked and I use a chisel to remove the material. Let's make a little test. Looks good. So I'll put it back in a normal frame so it's easier to glue up but I only glue up one side. And I remove the squeezed out glue. And this is how it looks like after curing time. It's like a half frame. Next I'm making the stand. And I need to recut it so the frame will stand at an angle. I mark it and cut it. So now the stand can be glued to the half frame. And since I'm not a pro, I'm very happy that uh, it worked that way. I did. And I also glue up this little piece and I make sure not to use too much glue so the squeeze out won't remove my slide in feature. So that's how my different picture frame looks now. But to be true it doesn't look very stable. So I had some leftover and I want to make it stronger by gluing in some more pieces. Like the one I showed and also a little piece on the back side. Like that. Let's restart. So first I cut the piece to the right size. And I also need to remove some materials so I can keep up the slide in function. So again I use my chisel and remove a very little material. A uh, picture isn't that thick and I needed to be very careful while removing the wood.
Here you can see the little gap where the picture will sit later. So some are glue while being careful not to use too much in order to keep the slide in working. And I clamped it together. Also on the stand where I cut this little piece for. And it looks a lot more stable now. I got this ugly corner that I'm now cutting off using the Japanese saw. It also took a while because I'm using a hardwood, it's called beech wood. After it was done I could finally start sanding and I started with the 80 grit sandpaper and moved up to 320 grit. I sanded as long as it was as smooth as a baby skin and I couldn't get my hands off again <laughs> because it was so smooth. Now I'm cleaning off the dust. and use some mineral oil to finish my piece. I always love it when the finishing product highlights the wood grain. Now I want to ask you how do you like the idea of my different picture frame? If you like please leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. Also what do you think I could have made different on my different picture frame? And here's the final. I'm very proud how I built this picture frame with um, very few tools and also got that idea very spontaneously and I'm also very happy that uh, the slide in feature works so great. Thanks so much for watching, I hope to see you soon, bye!